Hey guys, how are you? I'm Fernando. Most Moses. Pleasure to meet you. Hey, how's it yeah, going, yeah, you guys? Yeah. Best mic on the carpet. I know, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And totally oh is, man. God, that's nothing. This is chocolate. What is that? <laughs> this is pure it's chocolate. Like, yeah. It's totally cool. It's just like, it's so cool. Now that you're memorized by the mic, I'm memorized by the show because it, it hits home. My parents had to take a test in order to become U.S. citizens, and you guys have to deal a little bit of that immigration stuff. So, how does it feel to be on a show like that? It represents, you know, the world of getting into the U.S. and the whole U.S. aspect. Oh man, so I grew up in Ethiopia. I moved to America about eight years ago and I had to go through a lot of hoops to get here. You know, like um, you go to the embassy, they ask for all your information, all your names and everything, a birth certificate. I didn't have a birth certificate. And the lady was like, oh, you don't have a birth certificate? We can't register you. I was like, why? She's like, we need proof that you were born. I was like, I'm here. You know, what more do you need? So there's a lot of, there's a lot of hoops, you know, to get to America. So to be able to be on a show that shows the process and how hard it is to be here and also that once you're here, you want to work so hard to make your dream come true. I think I think it's really nice to see that on TV. Do you think that kind of helped you get the show because the realism of you, the Ethiopia battle to the U.S. Did that help? You think they want to keep this show as authentic as possible to everyone's experience. That's why a lot of the actors are immigrants, are children of immigrants. A lot of the writers are immigrants, are children of immigrants. So they they use our experiences and each other's experiences to make a show that's as authentic as possible, but also as funny as possible. Because at the end of the day, we want to make people laugh about this, you know. Topically relevant uh, issue, but at the same time relatable to everybody. Are you an immigrant kid? I'm not an immigrant kid, but that works pretty well with my character Brady on the show, who just recently found out that he's not an immigrant. So he's lived his entire 22 years of life thinking that he was an American citizen, and then just now found out that his mom brought him over here when he was two. So now he's got to study for the citizenship test, which means, in my own research, just looking at the citizenship test, it's most things that foreign Americans would not know. The amount of information is, is truly exhausting. It just shows you like how much we take it for granted being here, everything, and and, it, and I, you see a lot as an American, you know, foreigners come here and making it, making it, and it's like, and then a lot of Americans get mad when foreigners like totally make like you, you're out on TV, people here in Hollywood, 15, 20 years, nothing, but you get here, you come here, kick ass, and they get mad. I hope they don't see that as a threat. I hope it shows everybody that you know you just put your head down, work hard, and everyone gets chances, and and you can. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just make it come true. So I think I think there's nothing wrong with seeing success from other people. I think it should be more inspirational than anything. And, and here's the other thing I'm going to say: is, is it's so much harder for someone from another country to come here, get all established and everything, get no connections, no friends, no social support, no family support, and then you got to make it. It's amazing. In a in a very high risk job, there's a very high failure rate in in acting. So yeah, I'm, I'm so proud of our cast. I'm so proud of it. And this is a lot of of, uh, of the cast's first like big job. So you feel that inside. Everyone's very grateful to, to be there. And once the whole cast is is together and everyone's having a good time, you the the fact that everyone comes from such a diverse background melts away. It's just like oh, we're just these are just the funny actors for these roles. The show's great, the writing is great, that you have to do very heavy lifting on, on our part. Are you the only American born actor in the cast? Um, I believe so. I mean, we have a lot of guest stars and... So, um, it's a loaded question. So, does that, has that taught you something from doing the show? Absolutely. Um, in setting this up, I, just hearing the stories from my fellow castmates and everything that people have had to, to go through. Yeah, but I've had a deeper appreciation for and being. You learn too, like who's on the one dollar bill? Yeah, Washington guy, got that. But see, that's the thing that that foreigners always know all this stuff. They know and all Americans this stuff. Are, a lot of yeah. Americans don't know anything. That's why we hope people tune into the show to show the beauty in America and also, hey, you know, there's there's things to appreciate about this country, and so that's yeah. why the show is more patriotic than anything. Yeah. Just like there's debt. You know, even in death, we can get comedy. Out of immigration and status, we can get comedy too. Yes. yes. Yeah. No, it definitely celebrates being a citizen. So as someone, I, I grew up incredibly poor, well below the poverty line, of food stamps, but I still had citizenship. And that is still a, a huge privilege 
to have, and it makes things so much easier. So just with the process of, of being on the show and learning oh other people's uh, stories and come from a place of like, oh, wow, things weren't that bad. Yeah, and more than anything, I think it shows how people from such different backgrounds can be a group of friends. Yeah. Doesn't matter where you're from, how different you are, we can all get along. And I think I think that's what that's what I love the most about the show. You guys gave the most perfect answers, and that's why you guys got the parts on the show. And 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 good luck. I hope it goes on like five, six seasons for you. I appreciate it. I, I think it's really important of a show for the U.S. I'm glad you connected with the show. Yeah. That, yeah well, my parents had the past test to. Like, I corrected my parents' English, yeah. like and things like that. So right. it's. It's a different, I see the angle, I see the struggle of my cousins trying to get here. Yeah. And then they can't get here and they go to Australia instead. Right. Or they go to Norway. Yeah, doing it right. the, the right way. Right. Yeah. You know? yeah. And uh, it's, still, it's still a huge process. We talk about betting. And, like, and at the end of the day, of course, it's there to make you laugh. It's an NBC comedy yeah. on a Thursday night. You know, iconic Thursday night show, Seinfeld, Friends, Cheers. This is, the, we're on. How, how does he know so much? How does he know so much? very smart human being. It's, uh, I play a doctor on the show, man. I know, but still. You're smart. <laughs> but he is right that the immigration is, is why it's a hot button issue. It is a backdrop for the show. It's just the, the stage that we get to play on and, and the problems because it is. It's a, it's a funny sitcom. And, uh, <laughs> It's very refreshing to be on that. I, I can't tell you how grateful I am to yeah. be on something. It shows I'm you guys. Thank you so much. Great talking to you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you.